Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of Rimworld. Last time, we sort of fixed our food problem. Kind of. We also dealt with our fire problem. We blew up a whole bunch of stuff. We got two bedrooms taken care of, and... I want to say that's it, other than building this. I don't have enough stuff. Are we out of something? No, we just need to build it. Okay. Um... I don't know how they prioritize things. I really wish I understood, like, how, if everything's equal, how the game, like, prioritizes what you're supposed to be doing. Cut that stuff down. Put the stuff we need to. Um, hunt that. Hunt that. See, easy. This guy's almost done here, even better. Um... At some point, we do need to train it, train our dog. Um, oh, there's a ton of leather. I don't really have any time to do research right now. I actually killed the tortoise. Uh, what else do we need? How are you? There we go. There you go. Okay. Um, he's building that. That's good. Build the rest of it, though. Uh, well, we actually don't need to put power in this one. No need to put power there. This one's powering a thousand watts each. This is almost double this. Um, I don't even need it right now. Turn it off. Turn it off. There you go. Actually, um... Put fuel in there, at least. Oh, it was on, and it didn't even... Well, that's useless. Put the fuel in there, and then turn it off. All is idle. Dog is idle. Um... Is this clean? I don't know why, but anyway, uh, I guess we'll smooth the floors again. Seems like a good idea to have smooth floors. Smooth these floors. Can we smooth those floors? I don't think so. Uh, congratulations, you now have a whole bunch of construction to do, although Cat's going to be doing all of that, so... Why don't you clean the rubble up, then? Alright. Okay, uh, weird. Alright, home area. This is not our home area. <laughs> home area does not need to be outside. And that. Um... I guess that counts as our home area. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Of course, I say that with no confidence it will be fine, but that's okay. We do need a bigger stockpile area, uh, which I need to move all of this. You know, dog, you clean up... I guess you can smooth things, too, but... I'm kind of hoping you would clean, actually. Clean the rubble. Why aren't you cleaning? I don't understand why you won't clean things. Are you set to clean things? Yeah, you're set to clean immediately, so why aren't you cleaning? You clean the dirt up. There you go. Clean everything. It's dirty everywhere. Good, good, there you go. Good, you're learning. I'm glad, you're cleaning everything. This old dogs can learn new tricks. Good, the heat wave's over. Even better. Love this squirrel. Don't know why you need to hunt the squirrel, just go and do it. Um... I hope he's gonna lay. His construction's at 11, but he's already got the maximum, uh... Damn, he's already got the maximum for the day, which sucks. I don't like that maximum for the day, considering how much construction and stuff we do every single day. Like, certain tasks I feel like... Like, I would understand if that was, like, shooting or something, because there's only a limit on how much stuff you can shoot every single day, but... I don't know. It just seems kind of dumb to put it on uh, other things, like construction. Although, I guess at the same time, you have to put it on everything? I don't know. Anyway. So, the reason I want them to smooth this out... I guess I could just put wood floors everywhere, but... The reason I want them to smooth this out is not necessarily because of, um... 
um, Ox Speed, but more because it's beauty. It's not great, because there's wires everywhere, and they don't like wires in their room for some reason. I don't really get it. I'm not a colonist. I also don't know how they prioritize certain things over others. Like, for right now, you would think that they would want to prioritize the rooms that we're in. But, no, they just... It seems like they're random when you give them a lot of tasks. I kind of wish they'll fix that one of these days, but they haven't done it yet, so... Um... Kill that. Wandered too close. Uh, kill these two. I don't want to kill the Ibex, because I'm kind of hoping that they'll, uh, they'll spawn. Uh, okay, so one dude with a club has shown up. That's our raid. Uh, we still haven't actually set up gun turrets. We should probably do that. Uh, where do I want to set them up, though? Actually, can I build gun turrets? I can. Okay. These have a pretty much longer range, as I remembered. Um, maybe where I put them. I guess I could stick one here. I'm trying to think of, like, how I want to defend this area. Because if they come up this way, I want to be able to defend, and if they come up this way, I want to be able to defend. I don't just want to stick them next to the walls, because if they explode, they're going to cause me issues. So I feel like I should stick them, like, here. And then... Put that around there, and then stick the second one, like, over here. Oh, not there. Um, then we need to have a power switch, I guess, like, here, I guess, would be where it was, because it can flow into here. And, mostly I just don't want them to get disabled if they explode. Like, I don't want this one to explode and destroy all of this, and then this one doesn't work. That's what you don't want to have happen. Um... That's a good start. Uh, we should also probably mine this. Get the more, get all the components out. I mean, it's one guy, so I'm not really worried about it. But when it be when it starts becoming not one person, it starts becoming lots of people. No, don't shoot the ibexes, you idiot! <laughs> well, great. Now the ibex, now the ones that are going to produce more ibexes are injured, and they're probably going to bleed to death. That's that's great. I wish they wouldn't... Oh, well, they're already beginning their assault. Uh, where are they? Where are you? Oh, you're already... You're up there. Okay. Um, how are you going to attack me? Okay, so dog, I need you to draft you. I guess I'll sit you, like, right here. There you go. You actually have to hit him, though. There you go. Okay, we survived. He has some MSC in, which I don't know what that is. Uh, observe mash mixture of fat and plant food. Tastes bland, but not offensive. Lasts a long time. Oh, so that's the, um... That's for one year. Oh, so that's basically the, uh... What do you call it? Uh, strip him. That's like the tribal food, so you can play as tribes without, like, refrigeration. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Alright, so I guess we'll dig another grave. Still drafted? No, you're hunting. I really don't want these doe to just die on me. They're going to, but I don't want them to. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll stop bleeding everywhere. That'd be nice. Uh, can we get the bear out of there, please? So why aren't you building this? There's no steel. Okay. Um, we have steel. What are you doing? You haul the stuff you're supposed to haul. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off. Um, why are you leaving the important goods outside? Did you put him in- where did you put the body? Where's the body? I saw a body and then it disappeared. You put it- you haven't put it in the grave yet, so did it get eaten? Oh no, it's in our freezer. There it is. Okay, there. You put the guy's body in the freezer. Now normally, like in my last playthrough, I uh, I always um, 
I always butchered the bodies, and that was because you can sell the human meat and sell the skin, or the human leather, um, and make lots of money that way. Not sure if they nerfed that or not. Not sure. I imagine they would have, because it was kind of game-breaking that you could just kill everybody, butcher them, and turn them into, uh, silver, essentially. Anyway, we got tons of food. We're gonna be okay now. But... Still got lots to do. Crater from Grey Jellyfish Kai. I don't know... Okay. Find that out, too, while you're at it. Oh, good. Area revealed. All of one block. What? Why are you only digging, like, half and then being like, Well, that was enough. We don't need to do any more. Oh, hello. Um... Neither of my guys have any social, so... Guys, one. You have zero. Okay, I guess the guy with one is going to go talk. Go trade with these guys. See if they have anything to use. Um, you'll buy our wooden club. Cool, you can have that. Uh, you'll buy all of our pemmican, or whatever you call this. I don't want to buy a boomalope. That's like the last thing. Oh, we can sell our dog. We can sell our dog for 116 silver. Well, all it does right now is eat food, so we can get rid of that. We don't need our dog. Um, you have herbal medicine, which we don't need. You have other stuff. Uh... Give up plastic. You're selling a uranium spear for 96, 9,600 silver. That's insane. Why do you have a uranium spear? How did you even get that? Whatever. Anyway, so we'll just sell all that. Congratulations, you now have a new dog. Don't need that anymore. Now it doesn't need to eat our food. It wasn't really doing us any good anyway, so... I'm sure dog will be really sad about that, actually. Bonded animal sold. Oh, a special bonded animal is sold to a trader. Well, I didn't want to start with an animal, because all it does is eat your food, and it's untrained, and neither of you are very good at that. Like, you have animal of four, you have animal of three. Neither of you know how to train an animal. How on earth is that going to be useful for us? No, don't let the buffalo inside. What are you doing? <laughs> Who does that? It was like, yeah, you know what, we're going to... We're gonna leave all of the, uh, put all the animals inside. That makes sense. <laughs> Area revealed. Yes, components. No, why do you only dig one and then decide to go home? He's bothered to stay. Oh, wow, there's a lot of compacted stuff in here. Oh, good. That's good. Lots of components. That's exactly what we need. That means when we build this over here, we should be okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're leaving. Eh, whatever. We didn't need you anyway. So many components. This is so good. Um. Guess we could turn this. I kind of. The problem is, I don't want them to dig out any more areas until we have what we need. So I don't want to set them to, like, I don't want to tell them, okay, dig out a whole area, because then they'll never get to it, and they'll spend time, like, changing when, the, what, and when, what, when, and where they want to dig, and that's not what I want. Um, so dig this steel out, that would be nice. Uh, maintain the fire zone. Stay away from the bear. Uh, where's that rabbit we just saw? There it is. Oh, wait, there's a dead Ibex. Never mind. I knew one of them was going to drop dead. All the dead Ibex. All the dead Ibex. We kind of need that. Good work over there, except for the fact that you're leaving the wood. There you go. I really want to kill this grizzly bear. <laughs> I hate grizzly bears. Not because they're bears, but because they always have this bad habit of eating, you know, of eating your colonists. They're bears, that's what they do. Um, I want to get this finished. So we need more steel. And I'm pretty sure this goes all the way through here, so... 
It's gonna be a lot of steel. Are we really losing power over there? Like, are we not getting enough power? From four lamps? Are two solar panels this big not good enough to power four lamps? I mean, those are the only things that are working all day, other than the uh, stoves, but those are only used as needed, so... I have no idea. Um, there. The plants away from the guns. Again. Yeah, I was really worried he was going to shoot the grizzly bear, and we'd have to, like, hide inside of our... Uh, our cave in the hopes that it didn't kill us. That could have been really bad. <laughs> Let's cut down all the things. Get rid of everything. Luckily the bear seems to be mostly pacified. I don't think he's hungry. Maybe they changed it so the bears don't like automatically decide to eat all of your colonists like they did in the uh, earlier versions. <laughs> Hey, a rabbit. Kill the rabbit. Don't shoot the grizzly bear. And we got alpacas, too. And we have all kinds of things. All kinds of things on this, uh... What do you call it? On this map. And basic words seem to always escape me when I'm recording. Maybe I should script these, but I always feel like I shouldn't. I don't know. It's weird that way. Yes, just fire a spray into the, uh... The wild green yonder, I suppose. Um, okay, so we have all that. Now what should we do? Um, I kind of want to keep digging here, but I also want to dig an area out here and move the storage into it so I can start building things. Um, actually, we should probably... We could build a high-tech research bench. Um, we don't need to, but we a crafting spot. Simple things like shivs or bows. Okay, well, we don't need to do that. Um, you know, we're going to save up till 250 steel, I think. That's going to be our plan. We're going to save up for that, and then should be mostly okay. Here, kill that. Beep. There you go. It's like, how are you missing? There we go. Again, we won't actually have to kill anything once um, all the corn's done. Well, I guess it stops. Oh well. Not a huge deal, but uh, a little bit to worry about. Well then, question remains. So much wood. We'll never need all of this wood. Uh, but I think we're running out of room, so maybe we'll make this our stockpile for now? Like, we'll just make this our stockpile, and then when we have more room, or if we need other things, we'll dig another room out, I guess? I don't know. Logistics has never been my strong point. Um, oh god, now we got corn. Okay. I think we have corn. I don't know. Clear all, uh, delete that. Hopefully that means he'll move everything in here, and then we can just sort of make whatever needs to be put else there. Whatever else needs to go there, we can just stick there and we're done. There we go. I should probably make this just, just for wood. Like, maybe I should stick a stockpile in here since it's just for wood. How block, how many wood do we have? Oh, we have a lot of wood, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, about 16 stacks of wood. Oh god, we have a lot of wood. Um, no reason we need that much wood. Like, there's zero reason to have that much wood. Hey, bear, uh, can you go away? Please. Like, could you go anywhere else other than right in front of my base? That would be great. That would be perfect, actually. Okay, so basically we've run out of room. Um, so, we'll just put another stockpile zone, like there. That gives us a little more room. It's fine. 
because uh, now we have enough for the high tech or high tech research bench. It does take power, but that's not a problem. Uh, it does take up a lot of room, though. It's still using power. Why is it using power? You just leave the stove on 24/7. Who does that? Who leaves the stove on constantly? That doesn't make any gun. <laughs> okay, well. That's idle. Well, soon, only one of you is going to be idle. Um, or if any of you are idle, you'll be doing research. Okay, so now we have stuff for research. Um, Pemmican is <laughs> for research. Uh, hydroponics is useful. We have a whole bunch of stuff to, to uh, research. It's going to take a while, so we should probably prioritize where we need to. Moisture, wait, moisture pump. Turns wet ground dry. Wait, what? Moisture which turns wet ground dry. So I guess it like, I guess it gets rid of um, like this. Deep water, shallow water, mud, and all that stuff. It just dries all this up then. That would be interesting on like a very wet map. Like if you did like a. Uh, like some kind of, I don't know, what do you, like either a coast or maybe even near an ocean or something like that. Um, the microanalyzer, multi-analyzer is good, but it, so much. This is what we need now, no, never mind anything else, we need fire foam. Um, I guess you can research if you absolutely want to. If you have nothing else to do, you can research, although I think we have other things to worry about other than research at the moment. Um, also, we're not getting any power, so we should probably turn one of these on. Maybe that'll use some of this wood that we have sitting around. I, know, I, I guess it's already been used? Like, I thought it wasn't already been used, but apparently it's already been used. Or died, maybe? I don't know. Interesting. Um... Soil has different fertil fertilization level thing. I don't mind that, it's just a little weird. Um, okay. So first things first. Maintain the uh, maintain the fire perimeter area. Let's cut down some more wood, because that's all we do. Apparently we got on this planet to deforest it. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, we also need to mine this out. I want to dig out. I need. I want to dig all this out. I want to get more uh, more resources while we have the opportunity. Um, I guess we'll have the turkey. We don't really need to, but whatever. Hey. Oh hey, it's eating it. Uh, consuming bear corpse. It's injured. Why? Because it's been scratched. So actually, let's hunt it right now. This is probably going to get somebody killed. Uh, hey, before you do that, why don't you turn the turn the guns on first? Oh, no, 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 okay. Whew! Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Um, <laughs> that was almost really bad. That was almost worse than I expected. <laughs> uh, not hunt, not slaughter. Like, for a second there, I was like, oh good, he just walked right into the crossfire. He's gonna die. That's gonna be the end of him. Somehow we got lucky, I guess. Pick up the dead boar, that'll be good. That's what we need. We need more, uh... More leather. I do like the fact that it doesn't make you tan the hides. That's that's kind of nice. Because with all the other stuff this game makes to do, I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if they came up one day and said, okay, we're going to tan hides now. I'm sure there's a mod out there for it. Speaking of mods, um, there's a lot of interesting mods. I think one day I'm going to try out, try and do a playthrough of the um, medieval mod. Because there's a medieval like modifier for this game. And I kind of like it. It looks interesting. I might try it out. We'll see. Um... Okay, so he's still making food. That's fine. Are you relaxing socially? Yes, you are. God damn it. Stop relaxing socially. We have other things to do.
Kill the rats. <laughs> you don't even need to kill the rats, just do it anyway. Why is it still... It's 150... Oh, okay, so the, the generators actually produce heat now, because they didn't used to produce heat. Um, it's 112 degrees in there. Probably because it's such a small room. Um, we put a vent here. Probably put a vent there. Funnel it all outside, because I don't really want the interior to be 108 degrees. Although, actually, that could be a really interesting way to, like, get rid of, um... To, like, get rid of, column, like, people you don't want. To, like, stick them in a hot box and wall them in. I mean, eventually they'll try and beat the wall down and punch the wall down, but... What's this? A genetic, genetic engineer named Pete Holiday calls you from nearby. He's being chased by pirates. He begs for safety and offers to join your colony. How does he contact me? He is 16 years old. Eh. He screams in panic through the tiny speaker. Ah, oh, well, whatever. Not my problem, Pete, or whoever you were. I have other problems. Like trying to feed two people. I don't have time for other people. Maybe you should have fought those pirates off yourself. I don't know. Things like that. Insert other statements where I blame the victim for his own problems. For all I know, he could have, you know, who knows what he did to those pirates to make them chase him and try and kill him. I'm sure they have a good reason. Oh good, we have corn. So you keep digging. Well, pretty soon we're going to be able to, like, harvest berries and stuff. Not that we're going to want to, but we can. Um, weird slowdown. I'm not sure why. Oh, well. Not too worried about it. Hey, could you haul the food inside? <laughs> like, doing. Cutting grass. How about you haul the food? How about you bring the important stuff inside first? Hunt the turkeys. That's what we need, more food. Hey, better than not having enough. I don't know what is with this weird slowdown. Never gotten slowdown when I played this before, so... Don't know why I'm getting it now. Uh, I don't need that. That fire? Okay, no. For a second I thought the reason was because there was like a fire or something. But I mean, weird slowdown. I don't know why. It's so weird. You built the vent, that's good. Now it's only 90 degrees in here. <laughs> I suppose that's better than 115, but... Not much, not by much. Although that does raise a good question, like if you had like a uh, boreal forest, like here in the tundra, and you have one of these, you could just put vents and use these to heat your entire base. Like that's all you would need to do, is to like put one of these in just heat your base that way. That's not a bad idea. I might, have to, I might have to consider doing that. And of course, we haven't actually researched anything, which is a little annoying, but... Once we have all this steel, we probably won't need to, like, continue mining for a bit. Um, we st God, we're still running out of storage space. Damn. How much goddamn storage space? Pork, squirrel meat, boobalo meat. Squirrel meat, pork, tortoise meat. Pork. Where am I getting... Oh, I guess from the, uh... Pork. Okay, so, this used to say, um... So that's new, because it used to say, when you got wild boars, it would used to say wild boar meat. And apparently they've changed that to, um... Wolf meat. Shouldn't wolf meat be... Shouldn't wolf meat be two words? I didn't know wolf meat was one word. Because they changed it to pork now, when you kill pigs. Makes sense, I suppose. I really want to put, like, a wall here... Because even though it's limestone, it has probably the highest hit points of anything in the game. I guess, I think besides granite. Um, I'm not sure that I really want... Uh, I'm not sure that I want you know, to leave that exposed like that. Maybe I do, I don't know. What are you doing? Get back to mining or harvesting and stuff. I can kill more pigs. I don't need to. I don't need to distract them any more than they already... These guys get distracted way too easily. Maybe it's because I get distracted way too easily. Um, what is your mining, by the way, cat? What is your mining? 
Ether mining is at 11. Okay, so you're pretty good. I'm glad we have you to mine things. God for that. It's good, good. Get all the steel. I feel like I should put like another vent in this room. Rama's vents only have an HP of 100, so it's an easy way for them to, like, um, for people to attack them. Is it getting, why was this weird slowdown? Is it because of the rain? I don't know. It's weird. Not supposed to be like that. I don't know. It's a new thing, too. What's happening earlier when I was recording? So, oh, good. We're out of storage space again. Oh, good. Um, starting to remind me of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, okay, so we got everything out of there. We've got all the steel we'll ever need. Um, well, not ever need, but for now it's all we need. Um, okay, so cat's researching. That's fine, I suppose. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we need to do. Like, what else, what's the next thing? I'll, I'll probably build a place for storage. That's what I need to do. Um, that's what I have to do. Uh... But I'm going to do that next time. So, uh, yeah, I think next time we're going to start building a storage space now that we've gotten our food situation dealt with. Uh, we have enough resources to last forever. Um, so, yeah, see you all next time.